welcome back to the Ancient Worlds podcast. So in this episode, we're going to go through the Greek creation myth in three minutes as an introduction. So it all starts in the Greek mythology with chaos. First, there is chaos, and out of chaos emerges the primordial deities. First one is Gaia, the Mother Earth. Then you have Tartarus, which is the underworld. Eros, for love. And then Erebus and Nyx, for darkness and night. Then Gaia creates by herself Uranus, which is the the god of the skies, so she's the god of the earth, and then she creates the god of the skies. So then you have earth and sky. And then when they come together, they have many children, among them the 12 titans. And then the titans, uh, you have the smallest one, who's called Kronos, and he becomes the, the, the leader of the titans. And when they grow up, they overthrow Uranus, they kick him out of Mount Olympus, and then they seize power. So now the Titans are in charge of the Mount Olympus. And then, as Kronos is married to Rhea, another one of the Titans, they have children. But then Kronos is very afraid of his children rising up against him as he did with his own father. So therefore, every time Rhea has a new child, he takes the little baby and he eats it up. And he does this five times in a row. And then the sixth time, Rhea has a plan. So she takes the little infant baby and hides it, and then she gives Uranus uh, some stones in a blanket and tells him, there is the baby, here. And then Kronos eats up what he thinks is the baby. Then this sixth baby, or infant, is then hidden at the outskirts of Mount Olympus among the nymphs, and the name of this baby is Zeus. So then Zeus grows up a bit outside the mountain, and then when he becomes a, a young person, a young man, he goes back up to the mountain and applies for, for a, a job as a servant. And then eventually he becomes the servant of Kronos. And then he, one morning when he gives him, serves him the breakfast, he has a goblet, like a little cup, with poison. He gives it to Kronos, who then uh, gets very ill, and then he barfs up all the five children eaten when they were small and now they're adults so now Zeus and his five siblings they come together and then they start a war against the titans and then they kick all the titans out of olympus and down to the underworld and then Zeus is the king of mount olympus and the king of the gods and this starts the era we call the silver age in the hesiod theogony so now Zeus is the king 